Okay, in this video I will demonstrate how to use a protractor. So what are protractors used for? Well, protractors are used for measuring angles and for creating angles. Example of an angle, if we're making a vector, remember a vector has a magnitude and direction, it is that angle or that direction that you can use a protractor for measuring or to make. All right. If you look at the protractor, or at least this protractor, you'll notice that there are a set of numbers here, or two sets of numbers, one on the outside and one on the inside. Uh, these numbers correspond to the angle that will be made from a vertical line and a horizontal line that intersect with uh, 90 degree angles, okay? Uh, this set of lines we call axes, right? We have a y-axis and we have an x-axis and the point uh, where they meet we call that origin. So the angles would correspond to let's say starting from over here on the right side if we're measuring an x-axis here or the angle from an x-axis. The inner numbers will represent the number of degrees away from that x-axis. So this would be 0 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, so on and so forth all the way around. If we are measuring, let's say, from the negative x-axis or something on this side, let's, let's go ahead and just say negative x-axis, then we would measure the, using the outer numbers, and so this would be 0 degrees from the negative x-axis, uh, 10 degrees from negative x-axis, 20, 30, so on and so forth, all the way around. Okay. Now you can measure from the x-axis or you can measure from the y-axis. In order to measure from the y-axis, you just simply turn it uh, vertically and you can measure, let's say, from the positive uh, y-axis or from the negative y-axis, okay? So you orient the uh, protractor uh, based off of where you're drawing the angle from, from which axis, okay? Uh, for this protractor, what you'll also notice is that there's a hole here in the middle, and what that is for is for drawing the uh, origin of the vector and for drawing the origin of your x and, uh, where do your x and y axis uh, meet or cross okay and you'll also notice that there's another hole here at the top and this is for indicating where you have your 90 degree angle all right so in addition to the numbers on the outside you'll notice that there are some numbers here at the bottom two sets of numbers uh, the inner numbers here numbers at the top if you will. These numbers are uh, correspond to the centimeters, so this is one centimeter from the end here, one centimeter, two centimeters, so on and so forth, over to ten centimeters. And down here at the bottom you have an inch ruler, uh, one inch, two inch, three inch, so on and so forth, all the way over to the end. So from end to end this would be a six inch ruler, and from end to end on the inside here where my thumbs are, this would be a 10 centimeter uh, ruler, okay? So now, let's go ahead and look at actually using the protractor, now that we have a better idea as to uh, what um, the protractor is and what these numbers mean on the protractor. So let's start off first by drawing the axis. So we can use the, or axes, we can use the protractor for drawing the axes, the X and Y axes, and also, to indicate where our origin is. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And in order to begin the process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot here in the middle where my X and Y axis cross. All right, and then I'm going to put a dot here. I'll put a dot here where my 90 degree angle is. In addition to that, I'll move over here on the right side and I'll indicate, since I'm thinking about this as being my positive x-axis, I'm going to in, uh, start uh, put a line here where the zero degree uh, mark is here, okay? And then I'll move over to the other side, and I'll put a mark here where my 180 degree uh, line would be, or, at, or, or um, angle would be, okay? Okay, now so I have a point here, a point here, and a point here. Now if you want to, you can also add a point in here because you'll notice that the line here where the uh, where you, uh, that create the cross here is here in the middle. 
you uh, correspond to the y-axis here also and you can make one here at the bottom if you if you so desire okay so now we have a set of points as you can see here on the paper so I can take the protractor the ruler part now and I can go ahead and connect my dots so that I can make my y-axis and just try to be uh, as exact as possible of course this won't be very exact okay so I have my uh, lines drawn there now and since I use the protractor outsides here to uh, make the to indicate where we had the zero degrees and the 108 degrees and that's a little outside what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a ruler in order to make the x-axis here so I can pass the ruler through each of the points here okay and so now I have my y-axis and my x-axis okay I have my y-axis and my x-axis now we indicated that we may use a protractor for creating angles right so let's say we have a vector and that vector has a 60 degree angle okay a 60 degree angle how do we actually go about making a 60 degree angle and let's say it's 60 degrees from the x-axis here okay how do we go about using the protractor in order to make that 60 degree angle well you put the protractor back on the table and you make sure that the point the origin is in the center right here make sure that the 90 degree or the uh, y-axis passes through the hole at the top here also what you want to do is you want to make sure that your x-axis goes through the zero degree mark over here and your y-axis goes through the 180 degree mark over here okay so what you, what it should look like is you have just one straight line going all the way through the uh, from that point there through the origin over to this point and you should have the uh, y-axis going through these the center point here and 90 degrees okay all right now that you've you've been able to put that onto the table there okay let's just slide this a little bit over now that we've been able to put the protractor down we said we wanted a 60 degree angle so we look for where remember we're starting from the positive x-axis so we move up this way here and we find that we're, we have 60 degrees right here at this point so the 60 degree mark would be approximately here and we may also add another mark right on the inside here okay now we've drawn two points here where 60 degrees uh, 60 degree, degree line would pass through okay what we may do now is take the protractor and draw a line and it has to go through the origin okay the protractor has to pass through the origin and then also it the line when you draw it has to go over the dots that you make made pardon me and so now you can let's see let's make sure that's about straight and it does look like it's about right okay and now you can draw your vector through that okay so now this is approximately equal to 60 degrees all right and that's approximately equal to 60 degrees okay do remember that this point here is our origin the zero zero and that's where the that's the origin of the vector okay that's the origin of the vector and then of course the vector here goes out to some point p here in uh, space all right to some point p in space so this is how you would draw a vector this is just one uh, vector drawn here all right let's look at how we would measure a vector so I have already a pre-drawn vector here and we do not know what the angle is on this vector alright so how would you go about finding the uh, degree of this vector same thing again you're going to make sure that the cross here's uh, meet or the cross here uh, meet at the center point right here you want to make sure that in the 90 degree passes through the line that the y-axis passes through the uh, hole here at the top where 90 degree is 
you want to make sure that over here where your zero degrees uh, mark is zero degree mark and again I'm assuming that we're starting measurement from over here and going all the way around right so where your zero, zero degree mark is you want to make sure that the protractors uh, zero degree mark passes over the line that was drawn there, the x-axis and you want to make sure that the 180 degree mark passes uh, the, over uh, the line here also okay when that is has been accomplished then then you know that you are positioned correctly again the vector begins here at the origin okay and we measured uh, look through here now to see where the vector passes through and this is approximately based off what you see here uh, this is a 40 degree let's pull this just a little bit closer so you can see this so this is, approx this is approximately 40 degrees from the y or from the x-axis here to zero degree um, on the x-axis. And this is approximately 50 degrees. And so this line here seems to pass through close to what would be 45 degrees. Okay, seems to be passing through what would be 45 degrees. So therefore then, this is a 45 degree angle. And if I didn't mention that before, these are measurements in, uh, in degrees, by the way. Um, you may or may not know there's also gradient and radian, but we're not dealing with that in this video. We're just me uh, measuring degrees. So this is based off of uh, 360 degrees. And so 180 of it is shown on the protractor. And so again, this is a 45 degree angle. All right. Okay, so we've both made and measured a vector. Um, let's say, for instance, you're given something that looks like this, right? And what this is, by the way, is just, let's say, a paper vector that you may uh, get in the lab. And on here, it says that it's 60 degrees. And, of course, you can double check if it's uh, 60 degrees or not. And what it's saying, it's 60 degrees from the negative x-axis, okay? So it's 60 degrees from the negative x-axis here and this itself is the vector so this piece up here is the vector that goes all the way down here to the bottom all right if we want to double check to make sure that this is 60 degrees what we would do is in this case since this is not just a line it's it's an actual um, I guess you can say a vector uh, however you want to call, uh, call it what you want to do is you want to move the protractor here so that the end of the vector, remember origin, the end of the vector, approximately about halfway through the vector. Um, when I say halfway through, if we're going through the vector in this direction, approximately halfway through, we should end up going down here to the, the uh, center point here or the where we draw the origin so the or that, that line should actually pass to approximately what would be halfway through the vector and we know then that this is where the the vector starts from originates okay we also want to make sure that these uh, the lines that help to create the cross here is here and the line that oh, it's over here that creates 180 degree that's also about halfway through this bottom vector here or not vector but the bottom axis here the axis here the negative x axis and once we've accomplished that such that the crosshairs meet up about halfway through the vector and we have that line going about halfway through the axis then we know that we are approximately at the correct location and what you will notice here is that this is approximately a 60 degree from your negative x-axis okay so this is what they say it is approximately 60 degrees alright so in this video we looked at how to use a protractor both to measure and make vectors okay um, Please do look at my YouTube website for additional uh, tutorials um, related to physics and engineering. Uh, for more complicated stuff, um, more complicated exercises, you can maybe look at my YouTube uh, channel or you may check out my website at www.clydeletsum.com. Again, that's www.clydeletsum.com.